All right, early morning, just shortly after 3 a.m. heading to the airport, going on an adventure in Anchorage, Alaska. This is Alfredo with Off The Strip where I take you on one of my adventures. If this is your first time to my channel, please hit that subscribe button and that notification bell. More information is listed below. So we've just arrived, checked into our hotel. We're kind of in downtown um, Anchorage right now. First impression, it's, it's cold. Um, lots of strip malls and low buildings so you can see mountains all around. Um, we're heading to Moose's Tooth right now for um, a late lunch, early dinner. We're gonna rest up because we're gonna go take a Northern Lights tour later this evening. They're picking us up at 8 p.m. to go do that. Moose's Tooth opened in 1996 and it's arguably one of the best places for gourmet pizzas and home brews. It's definitely an Anchorage icon, highly recommended by locals including hotel staff, our cab drivers, and tour guides. So this bridge was built in 1910 by hand. On our way to see the northern lights we're in the middle of nowhere but it's a lot of fun so we're about an hour and a half northeast of anchorage looking for the northern lights we got a little bit of it uh about 20 minutes ago um it's nearly midnight right now it's freezing and we're going to hope that we get a bigger show in just a little bit um our guide scott said it comes out usually between 1 a.m and 3 a.m so we're gonna wait in the van drink some hot chocolate, stay warm until we get that big show. The first time I saw the Northern Lights was back in Iceland and I thought they were pretty cool back then but this time around I was totally amazed because it put on a show. The lights danced all night long. lights behind me that's kind of cool they were just dancing a little while ago what a great experience hopefully we'll get another great show uh, in just a little bit so what causes the northern lights aka aurora borealis well it's when highly charged particles from outer space enter the earth's atmosphere when those particles kind of mellow out they release light and how often can you see these lights Believe it or not, you can see it every day. You just need to be at the right place and it needs to be dark enough for you to be able to see it. There are so many places to admire the Northern Lights and Alaska is one of them. Northern Canada, Greenland, Iceland, Finland, Norway are just a few more places you can enjoy them. I wouldn't say one place is better than the other because there are so many factors. Weather and time of year is definitely two factors to consider. And every time you see the Northern Lights, it's going to be a totally different experience because it's a natural phenomenon. And this was just a night view of the Matanuska glaciers. It is 9 a.m. on a Sunday and it is still kind of dark out. Um, it is 10 a.m. and it's still dark. Town's still sleeping it looks like. There's not much going on. So, Interesting fact. As much snow as Alaska gets, they do not salt the roads because all that salt goes into the water and all that salt is bad for the salmon. So instead, they have spiked tires. All right, so we are in a conservation area where there are bears that we're gonna look for. Oh, there's one right here actually.
so we're at this conservation area um, kind of like an hour south of Anchorage um, yeah but right now we're gonna go check out the elk so it's not a zoo it's um, a 200 and some acre conservation area and 14 acres of that is dedicated to the bears So again, the conservation center is not a zoo. It's a place where animals are taken care of because they were left by their mothers when they were cubs or maybe they were injured in a trap. They're taken care of and released back in the wild if they can take care of themselves. Okay, so now we're gonna go check out the wolves. Uh, they have three wolves here. Ooh, there they are. So the gray one is the alpha, and then there's two white ones. Sushi anyone? Here's some fresh salmon. Here's a fun fact that I learned from our tour guide Matt. You know it's glacier water when the water in the lake is blue. And here I am pointing at the glacier. I do recommend visiting Anchorage, Alaska the end of October. Their busy season is over so it's not crowded the rates are cheaper and you can still do a lot of fun stuff, especially the Northern Lights. So this lake is Portage Lake. It's six, more than 600 feet deep. There's no, um, no wildlife, no fish, nothing in it because of the silt from all the glacier. Um, interesting. If you haven't already, please click the like button, subscribe, and notification bell. This is Simon and Seaforts, another great restaurant recommended by two locals when I asked them, hey, what's a good place for salmon? So our last night in Anchorage, but it's also the last night of Wild Scoops ice cream um, before they close for their winter break and they're moving locations. But clearly locals love this place because check it out. Look at the line inside this place. It's insane. So before they close for uh, their winter break and before I go home to Vegas, got a double scoop of their chai and their um, version of Rocky Road that I got uh, yesterday. It was so good, I had to come back. This entire parking lot is totally empty except for wild scoops. Everyone is getting their ice cream. Hey Alaska, thanks for making my first visit really fun. Until next time. We're going to focus on the things that you can do during an eight hour layover in Paris.